and I'm gonna do a I can't afford the trendy slash cute tops that we see online which is why I'm gonna make my own type of video I have a lot of tank tops at home that I barely even use which is why I want to do this video because I wanted to make it into something better everything I'm gonna show you today are so easy to do like legit so easy and affordable and basically all you need are like basic tops like tank tops simple basic long sleeves like it's just perfect if you guys want to know how i created this top then i'll put the link below it's my latest strip flip so if you guys haven't seen it check it out it's so cute look at my back okay anyways let's move on to the video so for the first stop is this basic black camisole and i wanted to create this mini self-tie design on the front part i created an illustration again to hopefully make it easier for you guys blue is for cut orange is for fold and green is for sew so turn the top wrong side out first then i started cropping the top with my desired length I used hemroll tape for the edges and I'm going to use the clip from my last strip flip to explain how to use it so it's easier. After cutting, I then used hemroll tape to cover the top and bottom edges. Hemroll tape is my lifesaver, I swear. You literally just put the hemroll tape inside the fold, then use an iron or flat iron to stick the two sides together. What I do is that I fold it first using my flat iron before putting the hemro tape. It's easier that way and safer, I guess. Then I started cutting the front part like the illustration I showed earlier. Then you fold it on the wrong side. As you can see, the string is different from the strap. That's because I bought this string from Shopee. It's actually for masks, but it works the same. And yeah, I was really lazy to make a strap, so I used this instead. So you basically sew the string on the end of where you cut. Then you just start sewing the fold with the string. But you can do without the string naman. But I feel like it's just easier to do it with the string. So that you know how close you need to sew. The next one is the same as the first. The difference is that you cut the straps instead of the sides. So first thing you do is cut the front part of the straps. Then you fold and sew again like the first top. Honestly, hand stitching it is way easier than using a sewing machine because it's more flexible, but you can do either in a month. Okay. 
For the strings, you cut 10 long pieces of the extra fabric that you have from the top. And just basically stretch it until it becomes thinner. I just saw this on TikTok actually and I just wanted to try it out but you can make your own straps if you want. So I doubled it on each side because I thought it would look cute that way. And yeah, I just started sewing it on the strap of the top. Then you insert the strap in the hole of where we sewed. I used the pimple extracting tool to help me insert the straps. I got this in Watson's for less than 100 pesos. The next top is one of my faves. It's kind of similar with the first and second top that I showed. So this top is a basic black semi v-neck camisole but you can use a normal one naman. So first things first, you have to cut all of the straps. Then turn the top wrong side out. For this top, you're gonna have to create a semi v shape. But since my top was already like that, I didn't have to cut it anymore. As you can see, I cut the middle part, but you don't have to do it. I just did it so that it's easier to fold. Then, I started sewing the folds. You don't have to use a sewing machine for this. Honestly, it would have been easier if I hand-stitched it myself. Then I used the elastic cord I showed earlier for the straps again and started inserting it in the hole of the part I sewed earlier. I've been seeing this top a lot online and I thought I would recreate it because it looks easy to do. So this is an old long sleeve I got from Uniqlo. The concept is kind of like the previous top, but at the back. So first, turn the top wrong side out. Then crop it with your desired length. Then I drew a long semicircle shape at the back with my fabric chalk. Then I started cutting, but don't cut directly on the line. Make sure to leave space for the part you're gonna sew. I used hemorrhoid tape again for the bottom edges. As you can see, I'm making small cuts like so. I'm doing this so that the fold is easier. Using the elastic cord again for the string. I'm hand stitching it with the string so that it's easier. So the next one is this basic orange t-shirt. 
I wanted to create it into a sleeveless top with a cute print on the front. I got this illustration of Rainbow Dash on Pinterest and I thought it was cute. I placed it in a blue circle because I thought blue would look good with orange. I used an old sleeveless top to trace the shape I wanted. Then I started cutting and sewing the sides. I used fabric glue for the bottom edges and the sleeves. Then I printed the illustration on normal paper, then started cutting. Then I got cling wrap to cover the front and back side of the picture. My mistake is that I just crumpled the back part so it didn't turn out the way I had hoped but just make sure both sides of the cling wrap are flat. Once that's done, get parchment paper and start ironing the picture to the shirt. As you can see, the plastic didn't stick fully. So yeah, that was my mistake, but it still looks super super cute and I love it so much. Of course, I had to add tie-dye. I bought a tie-dye kit on Shopee, so I wanted to try it and add it to this video. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to tie-dye already, but yeah, you basically mix the dye with hot water. Then I placed the dye in the squeeze bottles from the kit. Then, wet your top with hot water. I just randomly crumpled my shirt. I didn't really have a specific design that I wanted. Then, I started tying it with the rubber band that's also part of the kit. Once I was done with the tie-dye, I let it dry for 8 hours, then washed it with cold water. Then I let it dry overnight. And yeah, it's so easy to do and it's so fun. Next up is my favorite out of all. It's so cute. So I have two basic tank tops that I had before pa. I see this type of top a lot online but I don't have the fabric for it so I thought why not paint it because it seemed easier and yeah I got this textile paint set from Shopee. Textile paint is good for fabric so yeah it seemed fun to do and I just started painting and basing it off the design that I showed earlier and yeah it kind of takes a long time I must say because you have to wait for it to dry and then paint again and then dry and then paint again but honestly worth it super 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 worth it the black one the man took a lot of layers because you know it's hard to paint on black fabric so yeah it took me like probably four layers but really 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 worth it to be honest All the materials that I used for this video will be in the description just in case you want to buy the same stuff that I got. After painting, I let it dry overnight and then I iron it with parchment paper but you can just iron the wrong side of the top.
Um, this is an extra top. So yeah, I just wanted to change the sides. And you basically just cut the sides and cut the sewed part as well. Then secured the edges with fabric glue. I got this in USD, but you can probably find this on Shopee as well. Then I sewed the elastic cord again on the top side. If you guys recreate any of the stuff that I showed, then let me know, tag me, mention me, comment my name or something like that. Alright, make a TikTok, post on Twitter, post on Instagram. Just let me know. I'd love to see it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below any suggestions of what you guys want me to do next. Say bye, Shaco! Bye, Shaco! Okay, cute. Okay, bye!